what happened to me a while back is when I was in Anaheim, around the time Jenny was in Anaheim, I was walking the streets and I had a, uh, a thing of popcorn that I bought at a movie theater. And uh, I really didn't eat that much of it. And I was kind of, I was, I was satisfied. I was full. And uh, it was, it was, I mean, I like an inch down in it probably, maybe two. And it was, it was a movie theater popcorn thing. So I was going to, I was, I was pondering whether I should throw it away because obviously it's of no value to me and I can't just, uh, like people wouldn't accept it from me. If I just walked up to somebody, I was just walking by, hey, you want some popcorn? They'd say, no, thanks. They're idiots. I mean, it's free popcorn. I, it's not poisoned, but... They don't know that. They don't, but it's. I think it's very... Most people would agree that it's very likely that it is not poison. It's just popcorn. But anyway, I finally I finally saw somebody that would say yes, and he, and he would love that popcorn, and it was this homeless guy that was sitting at a bus stop. And I said, hey, you want some popcorn? And I handed, stuck my, you know, stuck the popcorn out to him. And he said, he said, oh, yes, thank you. And, and he said it in a way that was very polite. And it seemed like he'd been well-educated, really. And, uh, yeah, so I, I walked away. I crossed the intersection and was on the other side when... I thought back and I turned around to check if he was still there, and then I walked back to him. Walked back across the same intersection. I just waited in line to go across. This is like a tourist kind of area, and uh, I went back up to him again. And I'm wearing like I'm kind of I'm I'm wearing a suit, and there's a vest, and there's a tie, and and there's a jack, and my jacket looks pretty nice too. And you know I I. I, I fancied myself looking quite wealthy, but uh, so I I asked him what what ended up happening was I asked him to dinner, and I said, hey, this I, I use different appeals, emotional appeals. I told him that that uh, my friends and I were gonna go, but they they deserted me and stuff because that's what happened. I mean, we were all like, okay, we're gonna go eat dinner, and then they just they just went to the beach or something in the car and. They never invited me, but I mean, well, what what happened was I was gonna go with them, and I said, "Call me, okay?" And nobody called me, so I called them, and they didn't they didn't answer. Oh well, huh? So I invited the homeless guy to go eat with me, and it, and this was the best meal I had ever had in my life at that restaurant. It was a really exp it was the most expensive restaurant I've ever been to. It was extremely good. So I told him to meet me in the lobby of the Hilton at six the next day. And I, I said that at the point where he still wasn't convinced, but I kind of I kind of laid it down really firmly, and stuck my hand out for a handshake, and he said, "Okay," and we shook hands. And uh, next day I was waiting for him. I that night I requested from the hotel that uh, we get some toiletries like shampoo and a shaving kit and soap and just stuff for him. Because I figured he ought to take like take a bath before he eats in that nice restaurant. You know, he's he's been out there on the street for a while. He doesn't look too good, but uh, yeah. So I waited for him. In I told him I realized that I told him to wait for me in the lobby. But then again, it was the Hilton, and I don't know if they want. I don't know stuff could happen. Like they don't they don't want this homeless guy sitting there in the lobby waiting for somebody or just carrying his stuff or. I don't know, he could make a commotion, but so I waited outside in in front of the hotel and I paced uh back and forth during the long uh region of the front so that I could see he, he, he would only come from two different places, I think. And so I watched one side and watched the other side and made sure that nobody got in. But as it turned out, man, I waited and I, I started waiting at at five thirty. And then by 6.30, I, he wasn't there. So I, I went back in the, uh, back towards the lobby. When I see, when I see a figure that looked like him walking away. And he was, he was across the street. But, uh, see, that, that whole time I, re I realized, kind of gravely, 
that I didn't remember what he looked like, but I trusted my like subconscious kind of that when I see him I would recognize him. So I see him walking away and I'm I'm just like running towards him and then some of my friends that were at the hotel were <laughs> were making fun of me as I was running towards him because I was running towards this hobo and uh you know they were they were all very Californian like esque you know walking in a group with the sunglasses and because they're in California it's a tourist area and they're at the Hilton but so I'm I'm running toward him and I I cross the street it's a it's a busy street but I get there I get on the other side and then he's still he's still on the sidewalk far off and I'm running toward him more and I say hey 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 and he turns around and we meet each other and. Uh, uh, I forgot what we said, but we went to go get his stuff. 